Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley. I also go by Ashwar and Ashwar Plays over on TikTok. And I wanted to remind everyone that I am hosting a high school years expansion pack giveaway. The link to the giveaway will be in the description below. So please be sure to enter so that you can have a chance to win a free copy of the high school years expansion pack. Also, I wanted to say thank you so much for 1500 subs. Um, this is absolutely insane. I am so, so, so thankful for every single one of you. And I really do appreciate all of your guys' support for this channel. So we're starting off right where we left off last episode. On Wednesday night, we went to the bar with Nathan. It is now Thursday morning and Mimi is working from home again. And um, we need to talk about the fears and want system. So as you can see, I have disabled my fears and wants system from my game, and that's because I believe, well actually no, it's not just me, it's a lot of people are saying that the fears and wants system is very buggy, and I have to 100% agree with this. I was playing with another sim earlier, and that sim had developed a want to ask their own father out as their boyfriend, um, which is absolutely disturbing. So I turned off my fears and wants system altogether. With that being said though, I don't want to disregard Mimi's want of having Moses be her boyfriend. I still think that she does have strong feelings for Moses and she also knows that it would not be fair to Nathan to move forward with their relationship when she still has feelings for another man. So we'll be hosting Moses at Mimi's apartment for a day or so while he visits San Raishuno and we're also going to be testing out the relationship and see if Mimi is willing to pursue a long distance relationship with Moses or even see if she still has feelings for him. As I said before in episode 5, I do want to see Mimi's suitors take initiative with their relationships with her and Nathan has um Nathan has done a very good job at that so far and so I just want to see if Moses is willing to take initiative as well okay so I have her enjoying her eggs and toast yes, and yeah. I'm gonna have her run to the nail salon real quickly to get her nails done um, the mod does work. They did last a lot longer this time. And I honestly might not bring y'all along just because you've seen her get her nails done like 50 times already. But when she gets back, I'm going to have her edit her video that she filmed before leaving for Brindleton Bay. And then Moses should be getting here around 3 p.m. so that we can go to Maishino Meadows to take this picture. And then we can also get playful with him as well. Okay, so I lied. I did bring y'all to the nail salon with me. We're gonna get a short set this time, and I also went with white as well, just because it is summertime. Uh, All right, she got them done. Oh, look at them, they're so cute. <laughs> so we made it back from the nail salon, and I have her editing her video, and Moses will be here very soon. Oh, oh mollified. But before he gets here, I'm gonna I'm gonna take down Nathan's pictures because I feel like that would be awkward for him to see those. Just just for now, just for now. Oh no! In the end, no amount of lens flare will save this video and actually made the video even worse. Are you kidding? Okay, well, I'm gonna have her edit it on it some more and hopefully that will improve the quality of it. Okay, wipe screen transitions made the video that much more professional. Transitions have been successfully added. Oh my gosh, y'all, look who came! Is he gonna knock? <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I cannot believe Moses is here! Okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and head to the park, and then afterwards get back home and then get ready for dinner. Okay. So I just spent the last five minutes laughing my ass off because y'all, y'all, tell me why Mimi got an attractiveness alert for Moses. This has to be a joke. This has to be a joke. So it was already hard enough to choose between Nathan and Moses. And now Mimi finds them both extremely attractive. I'm gonna need Mimi to pick a side at this point because this is... This is crazy, honestly. I'm gonna have Moses and Mimi take a picture in front of the fountain, and then I'm gonna have them play in the fountain so that they can get playful. Take a Anji. Yeah, oh my gosh, this is so cute. And we got the fountain too. Okay, let me take a few of these. Moses just became good friends with Mimi. Okay, I'm gonna have her add soap. 
gosh. Okay, and now we're gonna play at it together. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. Okay, so I thought she would have gotten playful from that, but she didn't. Okay, so let's try something else. Let's try just telling a funny joke. Uh, inside joke. Vinkapa Sigluna. Dwee. Farobi Fazik Fazub. <laughs> okay, it didn't work still. Okay, let's tell another one. Okay, so Mimi's getting overheated even though she's wearing light clothing. So I'm gonna have her and Mimi head back to her apartment to get ready for their dinner date. Okay, so they're ready for their date. And they're gonna go to a restaurant in the arts quarter. Alright, so we made it to the restaurant. This is the Shiki Bar and Grill. It's an Asian fusion restaurant. The original build was made by Bot Spots. Um, I'll have the name of the original lot here. However, I did make a lot of changes to that lot. So I will have this version on my gallery with proper credit to Bot Spots. I'm gonna have Mimi request this table for her and Moses. Y'all look at Sydney and his sister. I think her name is Savannah, but they're on a sibling date. It's so cute. And look at the view from the restaurants. Okay, so we got our table, and I'm going to go ahead and order. Since the cupid juice is on the chef's choice, we're going to get that for Moses and Mimi. And then I'm going to get the beef yakisoba for Moses, and uh, let's do the miso ramen for Mimi. All right. Oh, he complimented her. Okay, so we got a flirty buff. Hot dinner date. Dinner? Check. Mimi's favorite sim ever? Check. Everything is wonderful. So I'm gonna have her flirt with him. Let's ask a risky question. <laughs> Our food's here! Y'all, look at the drinks. They're so cute. Y'all, look at this badass kid. I wish, I wish my kid did this in public. Okay, so I was gonna get dessert, but it's already almost midnight. But she does have cake at her apartment, so I think I'll have them eat that instead. All right, so we made it back to Mimi's apartment and I did get them to eat the matcha cake. And since Mimi's in a very flirty mood, I'm gonna have her, I'm gonna have her flirt with Moses a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I think he complimented her again. Okay, I'm gonna have Mimi clean up. And she still needs to get playful. But I think she's too flirty to get playful. Oh, Moses is meeting Princess. <laughs> this is so cute. I love how Princess is looking at him like, um, who is this stranger in my house? Is he gonna kiss her? <gasps> oh my gosh. Uh, okay, so. I was expecting Moses to make a move on us by now, but it's two o'clock in the morning and not a single move has been made. And listen, Moses didn't come all the way to say my shoe no for nothing. So I'm gonna get Mimi to woohoo in the shower with him. Zombo phony. <laughs> and I picked a shower because I don't think Sims can woohoo in a bed that's against the wall. But we can still woohoo in the shower. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Princess, no! Do not watch this! Oh my gosh, Mimi is getting it in in there. Not the fireworks. <laughs> Look at Mimi! Okay, it's three o'clock. We're gonna go to bed now. Okay, so it's the next morning. It's Friday. I have Mimi working from home again. And because Moses is a guest, I'm gonna have Mimi cook breakfast for them. And y'all, look at Moses. 
Like, are you joking? Okay, so it's getting close to noon and Moses is heading back to Oasis Springs soon, which I'm so sad about. Y'all. Y'all. It's happening again. It's happening again. Girl, come over here and pound on this door. I should have Moses come over here and say something. That's what I should do. Like, are you kidding? Victor! Oh my gosh, is he gonna come out? Of course, he's mad. He's always mad. Okay, we're complaining, but we're also gonna- Sawata, Bima, Seneca, Belinda, Grinia. Oh wait. Oh my gosh, she actually felt bad for once. I'm sorry, you're right. That was a bit inconsiderate. We'll try to keep the noise down. Mm. He must know that Moses is at my apartment. Okay, she's saying bye to Moses. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh we got a pop-up. Moses Kumar thinks Mimi Howard is swell and wants to become best friends. Um, sure. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. They hugged again. Oh my gosh. And he's gone. He left his suitcase though. Okay, so now that Moses is gone, I kind of want to give my two cents on the whole Nathan and Moses situation. So I put a lot of thought into Mimi's relationship with Moses and I had to ask myself this question. If the long distance between them wasn't an issue, would she choose him over Nathan? And if I were to be 100% honest with you guys, I would say that she would still pick Nathan over Moses. Now I could be biased because I saw Nathan cook for Mimi and a man cooking is one of my absolute biggest weaknesses. Like if a man cooked for me, I'm instantly on my knees. But as I said multiple times, I want the men to take initiative. And Moses didn't do much of that during his visit. However, him and Mimi had an absolutely amazing time together yesterday and this morning. So we'll still keep him on the roster. We'll still keep in touch with him. But I am leaning towards Nathan at the moment. Like if Nathan were to come out and say, hey, do you want to be my girlfriend? I'm choosing yes for Mimi. Like that is how certain I am of her and Nathan's relationship at this point in the series. So yeah, that's my two cents that no one asked for, but um, please let me know in the comments how you guys feel about Mimi's situation and uh, if you're leaning towards Moses or Nathan. But for me, Nathan won my heart over in episode five, so I'm, I'm rooting for him. Okay, so it's a little bit later in the day and I had Mimi get one of two of her tasks done. She's almost done with leveling up her video gaming skill. But as you can see here, we have a little friend with us. And this little friend happens to be Leanna Bita. She has aged up to a toddler now and uh, Mimi will be babysitting her while Jess Minder and Erin are at the Spice Festival. And look how adorable she is. The Darkby. Gosh of whips. Gorb, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh. Sure. She's such a good listener. I wonder if I put on the lullabies radio if she'll like that. That might make her sleepy, actually. She's quite talkative. Y'all, she is such a sweetheart. Oh my gosh. Um, let's see if there's anything we can do with her. I can read a toddler book to her. Oh my gosh. Mimi in her mom era. Yo kip habini ishi join giomiva. I wish Mimi was facing her, but that's okay. Holy night. Oh my gosh, Mimi's needs are low. Okay, I'm gonna have her go use the restroom real quick and then... Uh... Oh no! 
Oh no, what's wrong? Uh, how do I, okay, let's check on her. What does she need? Oh, she just wanted to play! Oh my gosh. Okay, so Mimi got a, a buff from Noisy Neighbors. And it looks like the Rizoyas are jamming out again, but honestly, I'm not even gonna bother with it. Okay, Mimi, I need you to put her down and fill your needs. Yeah, you're tired, girl. Go. Are you joking? Are you joking? Leanna! Leanna, what are you doing? How do we tell her to stop? Maybe calm down? Oh my gosh, why does she do this? Okay, yeah. When are the beaters coming to pick her up? Okay, so we don't have any leftovers. So I'm gonna have Mimi make fried chicken sliders for her and Leanna. Oh my gosh, it's midnight. Okay, let's grab a serving for her. Okay, give her a serving. Bon and gravy? Oh, yes. Okay, she's gonna go eat that, and I'm gonna have Mimi eat this as well. Y'all, look at her. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Mimi's getting exhausted, y'all. Okay, let's have her clean this up. And she still needs to level up on her video gaming skill, too. The festival will end in one hour. Finish up any activities before it closes. Be sure to come back the next time the festival is in town. Okay, so it's 2 o'clock in the morning and Leanna finally went home. So now I'm gonna have Mimi go to bed. And I'm gonna have Mimi wake up early so that she can raise her video game skill and get this task finished. And I think this is actually a great place to stop this episode. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. I also want to remind you that I am hosting a giveaway for the High School Years Expansion Pack. Please don't forget to enter the giveaway for a chance to win a free copy. The link is in the description. And I'm already going to let you guys know ahead of time that the next episode is going to be very cute. And I'm so excited to film it and have it out for you guys as soon as I can. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Again, thank you so much for 1500 subs and I will see you all in the next video.